Welcome to Why Wait Create. My name is Paul Wilson and in this third video with the XYZ Carve by 3D Tech, I'm going to run you through the assembly of the machine, looking at any snags I encountered along the way. This follows on from my last video after spotting a bit of damage on one of the aluminium rails. 3D Tech were great and sent out a new rail straight away. The replacement has just arrived, so let's take a look at the five things to watch out for while building your machine. First up is sliding the X carriage onto the X rail. Loosen off the eight V wheels to allow the rail to slide in easily. Tighten them up just enough to remove any play in the carriage, but be careful not to over tighten, otherwise you'll risk developing flat spots on the wheels. This means the carriage then won't slide smoothly along the rail and could cause issues with the accuracy of your machine. Replacement wheels are available, but fitting new wheels will involve taking the machine apart. Once the rails and carriage were all attached and moving, I noticed one of the motors wasn't turning freely. It kind of felt like it was seized or stuck. I dropped Ryan at 3D Tech a quick text and he replied five minutes later advising to check the bare ends of the motor cables weren't touching. If the wires are touching each other, the motor circuitry is closed and it effectively becomes a generator, generating electricity when moving the motor. I separated the frayed ends of the cables and the motor was free and moving again. Moving on to the drag chain installation. The ends of the drag chain pop off so they can be rotated to the correct orientation. I spent five minutes studying the diagrams thinking I'd been sent a wrong part before I realised the ends could be switched around so everything could be mounted correctly. Also, the individual covers pop off the drag chain which makes life really easy for inserting all the cables. The single best piece of advice I can give at this stage, make sure to label each wire. You'll be thankful later on in the build. I'm not usually this organised with labelling cables and would normally push on, but electrics is my weak point and I'd be clueless with a multimeter trying to figure out which cable related to which motor. Similarly, I didn't want to run into any problems further on which could potentially have been caused by incorrect wiring. Top tip, use the braid for a tidy machine. It's not the easiest to feed the cables through, but worth the end result. Don't put your fingers inside it like I did, it's basically a Chinese finger trap. Using a new soldering iron, which I got from Amazon for around £15, soldering the limit switches was surprisingly easy. I applied heat to one side of the metal terminals and then placed the solder against the wire on the other side of it. I ordered some female spade terminals from eBay, but they hadn't arrived by the time I reached this stage, so the cables are temporarily soldered to the terminals for now. Electrical and wiring into the control box. So this bit's really straightforward if you take your time. For the control box, I started with the wires for the control buttons as they seemed the most straightforward. Then I moved on to the wires for the A, X, Y and Z motors. Again, take your time and double check everything against the wiring pictures before plugging in. Once you've completed all this, you should have a machine which turns on. So while the machine is powered off, you should be able to push the machine across the X and Y axes. And when powered on, the motors are engaged, so you shouldn't be able to move it. With the machine powered on, you can nudge each axis to make sure everything's tightened up and then you're good to go. In my next video is the moment I've really been looking forward to, getting the machine working and cutting the first test piece. As always, if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to follow the build, you can subscribe on YouTube or follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The links are included in the description. Thanks for watching. Why wait? Create.